Well, I'm here with Glenn and Seth from Popular Mechanics magazine. They basically take everyday items and see how much abuse they can take. Today we're looking at ruggedized cell phones, is this right? Indeed we are. Cell phones these days, they're generally made to take a little bit of everyday abuse, but some people, like construction workers, people mm -hmm. in the military... Or clumsy people like me. Or clumsy people like you and us, uh, like to have something that can take a little more. So there's a new generation of phones out there that are ruggedized to uh, protect against water, sand, heat, and knocks. So today we are both going to try to put it to the test and see whether it's as rugged as they say it is, mm -hmm. and also be deeply unfair and just, just <laughs> try to destroy it. Exactly. Right? We're, we're going to simulate some everyday disasters, and then, assuming they survive those, then which we're supposed to... Then throw everything we got at it, baby! What are the weakness points on a phone that you're looking for? Where could it fail? Well, uh, on these two phones, for instance, they're clamshells, so anything with a hinge, uh, that's a potential failure point, so you're going to hope that that's pretty sturdy. This mm -hmm. one has a bit of an advantage. I've got a fancy one. This is a Sonim. Exactly. What's Sonim? I haven't heard of it. Sonim is a company that specializes in ruggedized phones. This thing is uh, engineered to the highest level. We're expecting this to win. The Sonim XP3 is taking on the Motorola Tundra VA76R and the Casio G's One Boulder. Now what we're going to do here is just drop these phones from three feet high, which is, I guess is about pocket height. Surely any phone's going to survive that, right? Uh, it should, and this is not a really, really stressful test, but you should look for things, failure points like hinges, screens, anything like that that might break Which easy. mine doesn't have, which is why I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> you might. <laughs> Ready? One, yeah. two, three, drop. So three feet, flying colors, walk in a park, but what if you're, whole, what if you're on the phone, right? So now like almost six feet, let's try dropping them from here. Yep. Okay. So it seems all three phones have survived all the everyday drops we could throw at them. So uh, what do you think we should try next? Well, seven and a half feet is what I'm looking at here. So let's give it a shot. Right. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. So the phones have passed with flying colors from as high as we can at least drop them in this room. Now, what about water? The most common water mishap. I know that we've all done this. I've done it three times myself. Oopsie daisy, look, oh no. Okay, so after about five drops, it looks like we have a bit of a casualty here. It's the Motorola. What's going on? Ah, uh, well, it seems that if you look right there at the, uh, on yes. the hinge, we seem to have busted it loose. I think water got in when it hit the side of the bowl. Okay, one down. <laughs> Two still look pretty good, though. Uh, so what can you do if you get some water on your phone? We have a little trick. It's you take all the panels off, take the battery out, make sure the phone is off, and put it in rice overnight, and the rice absorbs the extra water. Put it in rice? Yeah, the rice acts as a desiccant. Not only does it fix your phone, you get a nice risotto as well. <laughs> exactly. It was time to get serious. <laughs> After about 10 stomps, the Sonim was toast. But the Casio amazingly made a call while I was stomping on it. Wow, it's actually calling my phone. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's still working, it's just the case is broken. Yeah, it's not pretty. Yeah, not pretty at all, but it works, yep. We had a winner, a little Casio that could. Now, it was time to have some fun. This is what it took to finally kill the Casio. Wow, that looks pretty beat up. Yeah. Obviously, you've got some issues to work out. <laughs> I think perhaps it's the roaming charges. Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is this one outlasted all the other phones. We thought that the highly ruggedized Sonom phone was going to win, yeah. but the little flip phone from the Casio little dark horse. pulled it off. Who'd have thunk? Yeah, so, well, thank you very much for helping us out with our test. That's Absolutely, great. my pleasure. I loved it. I was able to vent some anger at the same time. <laughs>